Hey guys, this is KSP with Tape, and today I'm doing another rocket race, and this really is a big one. This is the race between two giants. In every rocket race I've done up until now that has included a Falcon rocket um, created by SpaceX, the Falcon rocket has won. So today I'm wondering which is best, the Falcon 9 or the Falcon Heavy? Because the Falcon Heavy can obviously lift the most. Um, it can lift something like 52 tons in real life. I'm not sure about in Kerbal Space Program. Um, it has a huge amount of power, but it's also huge in mass. So um, that will be its constraint, whereas Falcon Heavy, uh, Falcon 9 even, will have less power, but will be lighter and may be able to do this faster. Who knows? That is what this is about, a race to around a 90 kilometer orbit. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get going. Um, the frame rates are a little bit lacking because this is such a good looking mod. Um, I have actually uninstalled most of my mods um, to try and make this slightly less awful in the frame rate area, but um, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. It doesn't look too bad. Um, but yeah, this has each of these, and this has nine engines, um, and the main, this has, okay, yeah, this has nine engines on each of these stages, and the main ring has um, 3,000 newton, kilonewtons of thrust, and the other one has 420, so what, each of these stages has, has 3,420 kilonewtons of thrust. Um, uh, yeah, so basically it's like a Falcon 9 with a couple of lower stage Falcon 9s strapped to it. Which is, uh, yeah, gives her a pretty powerful rocket. And because I am only lifting um, the Dragon Capsule, and this is Kerbal Space Program, um, it will be able to get into orbit with this entire stage, but I will be dropping it for speed because this is a rocket race. And it does have, each of these tanks do have monopropellant as well as liquid fuel and oxidizer, which can, you know, give some nice, uh, a uh, control, you know, just extra control, which is always good, especially on a craft this big. Um, should be gravity turning more now. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. I maybe should have included Met Jeb just so I could focus on flying, but, you know, um, I know what I'm doing with this game now, kind of. <laughs> That's tipped over nicely. Um, keep this open so I can keep an eye on it. Rapoaps is getting very high very quickly. Um, quicker than I'd like. I'm not going to throttle down, I'm going to tip over because uh, if I throttle down that's kind of detracting. Alright. Um, well, yeah, I've got to drop these stages and keep an eye on my apogee. Okay. Goodbye, those stages. Torn away by a uh, um, little solid rocket boosters. And those would be able to land under their own power. I did that in my Falcon 9 video, um, although it did crash, but I did demonstrate it well enough. You got the idea. Um, okay, 80 kilometers. I'm tipping over because uh, then I get the orbit done faster, and I do want to just ditch this stage. Okay. Um, that is... I'm going to put it a little higher because I'm not going to put it into a good orbit. I'm just going to put it into an orbit as fast as possible. Now I'm having to kind of decide whether to ditch this stage um, and just use the top stage like a proper rocket would or to use the extra power but less maneuverability. Now power sounds like I should be... Uh, that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for power. Um, if it becomes a huge problem then I will ditch the stage um, and go with the upper atmosphere stage and this will give it a huge advantage against Falcon 9. Um, maybe even an unfair advantage, but, a, but you know, I want to see which is faster. And this is in Kerbal Space Program, I'm not sure how it would go down in real life. Um, right now I'm burning on two-thirds thrust because I want to reach 90 kilometers before... Uh, um, Oh jeez, I'm going to point down slightly uh, before I put the to full thrust so I can get a proper 90 kilometer orbit. Um, this is surprisingly maneuverable and I will start... Oh, okay, now let's throttle up and be pointing slightly down to make it a slightly nicer orbit just for show, really. Okay, we're coming up on it and it's been very fast. Falcon 9 will have a huge difficulty beating this. I am aware it's an awful orbit. Um, or will be when I cut it through speed. And waiting for periaps at 90 kilometers. Uh, that's oh, okay. This is looking bad, but I'm who cares? Yeah, it's 90 at 338. 
Okay, yeah, I, I realize that orbit's bad, but I was doing it as fast as possible, and that's what this is about. It's not about getting good orbits, about, it's just about getting um, fast orbits. So I will just take a look around the rest of the spacecraft. So uh, I'm going to do this quite quickly so it's not too long a video. But here, I would have switched to this, but um, if I throttle this up, you will notice... Oh, it's actually more power. It's only 420 kilonewtons of thrust, which it gives good acceleration. Um, especially because I dropped the mass, but I don't think it's as much as I would have got from the other stage. So uh, I had to kind of, you know, work with that. And if it really needed to, I could use the engines on the Dragon spacecraft, which are these jets here. Um, yeah. Anyway, that has set down a time of 3 minutes and 38 seconds. So I will... Um, See you on the launch pad with the Falcon 9 and see if it can beat the Falcon Heavy. I'm kind of debating whether or not it can. Okay, so we're back on the launch pad with a much humbler but still very powerful Falcon 9. Um, this is the current craft that they use in real life. Um, Falcon Heavy will be coming next year, I believe, which takes the Dragon spacecraft or satellites to orbit. It recently took um, its first payload to geostationary orbit, which is pretty cool. Um, and they have a uh, contract with NASA, so they use the Dragon spacecraft to take cargo to and from the International Space Station, which is all fairly cool. Anyway, so I am going to just throttle up and go for this as fast as possible. There we go. Not much better frame rates, really. Um, I think that is just because the mod looks are good, or maybe it's a slightly heavy mod, I'm not really sure because I don't usually ever have frame rate problems in Kerbal Space Program unless I'm like building behemothy crafts. But anyway, this is already looking good. It's looking fast, maybe even faster than uh, the Falcon, uh, the Falcon Heavy. But I might need to throttle back a little bit because um, I don't want to use the stage up too fast. But at the same time, I want to do it. The um, I, I'm just going to try and make this as fast as possible. So I'm already tipping over. Annoyingly, the nav ball is slightly inverted, but it doesn't hold me back too much. Um, you know, I can deal with that. Uh, yeah, so, um, kind of covered a lot of SpaceX news, but, uh, well, this is already at 8 kilometers, almost ready to start gravity turning. Okay, geez, I, I had my doubts about this, but I'm starting to think it might take the, uh, take the crown as the fastest SpaceX craft. This isn't about obviously what it can lift because they're lifting the same thing. It is just about speed if you've never seen one of my rocket races before, which is very, very likely. Um, then you will know that uh, then you won't know that this is just um, or you may have gathered by now, but it is just a, simply a speed race, which is why the the Falcon Heavy is in a terrible orbit. But it looks like a nice pattern. And that's all that matters in a race of rockets. Okay. Um, this isn't actually representative of real life, I would just like to say that, because in a lot of my rocket races, um, the SpaceX craft wins. Um, okay, we are getting very... that was... that's already quite quick. I'm going to uh, start gravity turning now, um, as I did with the Falcon Heavy. I'm actually going to use the gimbal. What was I saying? Oh yeah, this isn't representative of real life, because um, I've, uh, I've done a lot of rocket races, uh, well, quite a few, and... Um, they are, they've all kind of, either, um, if they've had SpaceX in them, they've kind of come out on top for SpaceX. Um, and that's not necessarily representative of real, of real life, but it's not always kind of about how, well, it's very rarely about how fast you can get something to orbit in real life. Um, but in real life, the SpaceX crafts are the cheapest, and, um, well, relatively so. I mean, it's about $50 million for one of these, which um, can get 20 tons to orbit, you know, just in case you're thinking about buying one. Um, okay, I'll throttle that back. I think I'm going to kind of um, go for using this stage as much as possible again, just to kind of keep it fairly similar to uh, the uh, Falcon Heavy. Yeah, so this can lift about 22 tons to orbit um, in real life. I think that's about a kind of a small bus sort of thing, and this is their kind of normal spacecraft that isn't going to be super heavy like the Falcon Heavy. Um, as you may have guessed from the name, Falcon Heavy. Okay, maybe raising the periaps a little much, but um, this is about speed. Okay, we've got a uh, less than a minute now, so we're going to want to try and get this uh, done fairly fast. Okay, um, okay, no, this is not going to work if I keep 
moaning, but I've... Oh, God, please. Jesus Christ. Um, okay, we're coming up on 90 kilometers. Ooh, this is tense. Um, I get the feeling I was saying stuff, but eh, who knows. Okay, okay. Oh, 90 kilometers. Burn! Burn! Okay. That's... Oh, throttle out, throttle out. Okay. Stage, stage, burn. Burn upwards slightly. That's... Uh, come on, perhaps. It's, come on, burn. Burn upwards. Burn upwards. Why is my periaps going down? Okay, that's... I call shenanigans because um, I screwed that up, but... uh. Okay, I've escaped the solar system. That's that's good enough. Okay, um, admittedly, in a terrible orbit, but so is the Falcon Heavy. Um, but if what I usually do is I add uh, a few a few seconds for um, uh, for oh for ten thousand meters below the per periaps, and that's at twenty thousand. So I'd add a certain amount of seconds. So. Um, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to watch back over the footage and give my opinion over what won, because uh, I think this was slightly faster but not as good an orbit. So I will see um, in a second for you, in probably quite a few minutes for me, which one won. Okay, I will see you in a second. Okay, so I have watched back over uh, the footage and as we know the Falcon Heavy got to about a 90 kilometer orbit um, with an odd semi-major axis. Um, at 3.38, whereas the Falcon 9 got to about a 72 kilometer orbit, um, the th 72 kilometer periaps at about 3.28, and usually I add about 5 seconds or so for every 10,000 meters under the periaps, so they're about a dead heat. However, the space, um, Falcon, Falcon 9 got to space faster. It didn't get to orbit faster necessarily, but it got to space faster um, than the Falcon Heavy, and that may have been over the way I f flew it, that it didn't get its full periaps, or it might have been easier to fly, um, and that's why it got to space faster, or maybe um, there were various other constraints. But yeah, it's indecisive. I'd say the Falcon Heavy got to, space, uh, got to an orbit faster and more reliably, but I think that the Falcon 9 got to... Um, got to space quicker. So you kind of have the uh, Falcon 9 seems to be the faster craft, but Falcon Heavy did better in terms of orbits. So if you want to dispute that or have any ideas or thoughts, and feel free to comment. Um, I'm not sure what will be um, on screen now, probably maybe some footage, but I'm going to call that a victory for Falcon 9. Um, maybe if I'd flown it slightly differently, it would have won. Who knows? Um, so yeah, blame me for that one as I'm sure you will, or maybe you'll just be happy with this. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you feel like liking this video, uh, feel free to like the video, or subscribe and comment and all that fun stuff. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.